Hey, Tubies, this is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be with you. Well, I tell you, you know, I am just feeling the Mayball energy. Uh, I think it's very exciting. Back on Sunday, we had Mayball. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, Mayball is the ancient pagan harvest festival. And it still exists, actually, interestingly, in many communities throughout, at least in the United States, a lot of local small towns still gather in the harvest and have, uh, they call it the, you know, a lot of them call it the fall festival or the autumn festival or the harvest festival. But it really is the modern day version of Mayball. And uh, this is one of my favorite, favorite Sabbaths. Uh, I didn't have access to the internet, so I couldn't get this up to you guys actually on Mayball. But in my opinion, I think Mayball really continues from now till Samhain. I think of it more as a season than just one day. But technically, it was on Sunday on the 21st was Mayball. And, uh, you know, over on Instagram, I've been getting a lot of nice cards. You know, Instagram is wonderful because you can send people like images. It's like getting a card. And so I made my Mayball card. And for those of you... Uh, who haven't seen it, click on the link below here and you can go over to my uh, to my Instagram and see my Mayball image. And I would sure love to have you guys to go over and receive my greetings from Mayball. <clears throat> Anyways, you know, talking about, <clears throat> pardon me, this is my voice today, talking about Mayball, um, you know, it's really got me thinking about the wonder of this time of season. So many of you have been writing. So, Siggy Bob, is it beautiful where you are? I'm just so feeling the fall. The leaves are changing. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is actually, actually beautiful where I am, and I'm having the best time. Um, Anyways, I'm going to be soon putting up, just so you know, we'll, we'll come back to it, but I'm doing a video on uh, setting up a Mayball altar. I'm a little behind uh, because I've been super busy. You know I'm a full-time psychic. For those of you who are new here, I do readings all day long as a professional psychic. And when I'm not doing that, then I squeeze in uh, my writing and my videos and my appearances at places. So I, my get, life gets a little crazy, so bear with me. But I'm going to teach you guys here, and uh, hopefully in the next week I'll have finished having all the stuff I need. But I'm going to teach you how to set up um, a little Mayball altar for yourselves, and also how to make a woodland pentacle. Uh, I did a video on the woodland pentacle probably, I don't know, two years back, I guess, a year or two years, about two years ago. And everybody really liked that. And I thought we'd revisit that, and I'd show you, you know, how to do that again, and and maybe some new twists on that. So we'll kind of add a, a little new flavor to it for this year. So I think uh, we'll be having that hopefully next week. Um, but I'm just glad you're here. And you know, I, I was saying, you know, to somebody, this is a wonderful time because it really is a time for us to stop and think about, you know, this past year. It's a spiritual time of reflection. And at Mayball, we can, we can be thankful, you know. I know that in the United States, Thanksgiving is still coming, and also in Canada, what's a different day up there. But Thanksgiving will be coming in November. But I think, you know, from the pagan perspective, May Ball is kind of like the pagan Thanksgiving. And, you know, it's really when we stop and realize the bounty in our lives. I know a lot of you have written me and said, Say, Bob, I'm so poor, I'm losing all my money, I haven't been working. I know it's been a hard time for a number of you right now also. But even in all of this, at Mayball, I think we can find a few things to be thankful for. So if nothing else, we can be thankful for the beautiful weather, you know. Just go out and look at the leaves. You can see them changing. You can feel it. I love it. Um, you know, and if you're able to at least have enough money to keep your computer running so you can watch YouTube, you'll get my videos be thankful at least you got an internet connection, you know? So maybe is a time where we stop and we gather our blessings of the season. Maybe is also a time where sometimes we, you know, have a little bit of regret. We think about things that we wanted to do and it's now the end of the year and we really haven't done them. Maybe is a time to say, well, could we still get it in? You know, if you had a goal, you thought, gee, I wanted to have a book written this year, now it's Mayball and I haven't even started. Well, maybe you can't finish it now this year, but you can begin. So use Mayball also as a time of when you find the areas where you feel like you've maybe missed the mark. 
and commit to renewal. Commit to starting. As I said, you may not be able to finish your goal, but at least you can start. And that's something, you know. Remember, we are all spiritual beings. And as spiritual beings, we have to put our energy in a direction for growth. Because in the spiritual world, there's no standing still. You're either going forwards or you're going backwards. And I hope here at Spirit Channel, we're all working on going forward. Don't worry if you don't achieve major things in the next few months. All you have to do is try. Just start. Just put a little effort in. And I think that you're going to start to see really um, that one, you have joy, and it makes you appreciate all the gifts you have. You know, I think we sometimes forget just the little things, like be thankful for our eyesight that we can see the leaves. Be thankful for our ears that we can hear beautiful music. Be thankful for our minds that can seek knowledge and grasp the mysteries. Be thankful for our spirit that is connected to all divinity and all life. You see, so the gifts of Mabel aren't just material, they're also spiritual. Anyways, guys, I just want to share those thoughts with you, and I hope that uh, wherever you are, you're having a wonderful and a blessed May Ball. Uh, maybe in the box below you can tell me, did you celebrate May Ball, or are you celebrating it currently? Uh, if you haven't, maybe you want to try it. Uh, you know, you know the colors for May Ball are the fall colors, yellows, oranges, browns. You know, look at the changing seasons, and you can set up a little shrine with those colors. And as I said, in the next week, I'm going to do a Mayball altar video and how to make a pen pentacle. So you don't want to miss that. So be back here. But in the, the meantime, I want to just send you my Mayball greetings. Thank all of you for your support this past year for Spirit Channel. Uh, you know, it's, it's people like you who, who keep me working every day. You know, all of you who send me such nice letters, who uh, come out on the videos, you put your wonderful comments. Those of you who come over to Instagram now, I love it. Um, I love all the friendships that I'm making here, and it means an awful lot. So I'm thankful at Maybaum. Part of my harvest is all the wonderful people like yourselves who I count as my friends. So I'm blessed with that, and I thank you. Well, guys, listen, tell me in the box below, have you celebrated Maybaum? And, um, you know, what, uh, what are your Mayball plans or uh, what have you done or what are you going to do? Thanks for being here. Listen, also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed here. We'd love you to be part of our channel. And go over and check out Instagram as well. Love to hear from you guys. If you go to Instagram, tell me you're from YouTube so I, I'll recognize you, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Blessings to all of you and happy Mayball.